Razor is helping to develop AI marine cleaning robots and is partnering with a company called Clearbot. Yes, you heard me right, Razor. The high performance gaming hardware, software, and systems company is working on robots that pick up trash in the ocean. As part of Razor's 10 year sustainability roadmap, AKA Go Green with Razor, the leading lifestyle brand for gamers has entered into a partnership with marine waste cleaning enterprise Clearbot, according to a recent press release sent out on World Oceans Day. Clearbots are small solar powered autonomous boats that cruise around a body of water, identify trash, and collect it by using a small conveyor belt that disposes the garbage into a collection basket on its back. You may have seen similar designs incorporating a conveyor belt to grab floating trash and dispose of it into a dumpster, much like Baltimore's own Mr. Trash Wheel and his big Trash Wheel family of interceptors, or the Ocean Cleanup's large-scale interceptors, which sit stationary at the mouths of high-polluting rivers. The difference here is the scale of the Clearbots and the fact that they can drive themselves around autonomously looking for trash, which they can detect from up to two meters away. According to Clearbot's website, a single Clearbot can collect up to 250 kilograms of trash on a single mission and up to one ton of trash in a single day. The garbage is brought back to shore and disposed of responsibly using recycling companies that sort the waste and then recycle it. Early Clearbot prototypes were solar and battery powered and used a drone to propel them through the water. And some resembled those cute cleaning robots from the movie WALL-E. We spoke to Clearbot founder Sindhat Gupta and Utkarsh Gol, who say one person can operate and maintain up to three Clearbots at a time. Clearbot is essentially a self-driving electric boat uh, that specializes in collecting waste out of water bodies. We have a camera on board that's able to look at the water, combined with an autopilot system that allows it to kind of zigzag across an area. These two systems basically allow the robot to move in a pattern, detect where the waste is, collect it and bring it back to shore. Clearbot works directly with different brands who incorporate and recycle the ocean plastic back into existing products. The Clearbots are equipped with small cameras that identify different types of plastic waste and then catalog it onto a database so Clearbot knows how much trash they're collecting as well as the types of trash they're collecting. These two cameras that are there on Clearbot, they're able to understand what kind of material the trash is, bottle or it's a, it's a plastic cup. And it's also able to do an estimation on, on the size of the object. So once we have the approximate size of these objects, we can approximate their weight. Eventually, this data gets uh, collected along with the GPS tags and can be shown on a map. So this is really important for scientists, for researchers, for policymakers, I guess, who want to understand where is the trash in the water. Then there's the new and improved Clearbot designed by Razor, which resembles a futuristic spacecraft or catamaran. The new Razor design Clearbot is meant to be more marketable, thus the futuristic sleek looking design, and to be more scalable, having the ability to effectively clean larger and smaller bodies of water efficiently. Basically, we wanted something that worked sufficiently in the water and something that looked really quite sleek and beautiful. So yeah, our inspiration was not only sort of sci-fi looking, but also catamarans and boats and other sort of form factors. The design they had, actually, their sort of generation two was a sort of a sort of simple barge design, quite narrow. So we actually thought, okay, we can do something a lot better. It works better in the water, it, it goes through the water nicer, and it will look better as well. So we, we pushed it, we thought, okay, let's really go all the way on this product. A lot of people didn't believe it was a pr real project. It's like, what, what's Razor doing? What are they doing a boat for? But actually, it's 100% real. It's out there, it's not in the water, being tested. The Razor Design Clearbot is using Clearbot's developed AI technology, which helps the Clearbots identify and record data on the different types of plastic waste it collects. This data helps drive policy with local governments who might be looking for solutions to clean up pollution in their local environment. 
So who this helps is actually municipalities um, and policymakers. For municipalities, it's to understand where the waste is leaking um, into the water and what their density looks like. For policymakers, it's to understand what kind of waste is ending up into the water and therefore uh, how policy can be changed around packaging or around taxation uh, to make sure that we're preventing that from happening. Thirdly, it helps actually uh, companies that are at some level creating that plastic waste, right? Because even for them to improve on what they're doing, they need to understand the problem first. So they need to be able to focus their energies and resources in the right areas. And so generating on the ground data of what's ending up in the water is actually the first step to them figuring out where to start. This is part of Razor's Green Investments Initiative to support environmentally focused startups by equipping them with the tools to help develop their ideas. In this case, it's artificial intelligence, camera technology, and machine learning. We also use a bit of our technology. So we have the Kia Pro camera in the front of the boat to detect the rubbish. We also wanted to use the uh, chroma lighting effect. We have some very sort of uh, RGB lighting, the water glowing up and the lights highlighting the way the boat's gonna go as well. So it looks really cool in the water. So it can work 24 seven. According to Razor, some of Razor's leading engineers have volunteered their personal time and knowledge to help develop ClearBot's prototype into a scalable, mass marketable product. So we're always looking out for uh, companies in the renewable energy, carbon and plastic segments. So when we heard and we were made aware of the incredible work that the ClearBot team were doing, we wanted to lend our expertise and that's how the partnership came about. Our goal is to fuel the growth of these startups with uh, companies like ClearBot to provide a better future for younger generations. ClearBot's mission is to collect 100 tons of trash by the end of the year 2022 while producing zero emissions from their collecting bots and to produce 1,000 gigabytes of data from the garbage that they have collected out of the oceans and rivers. Right now, 11 million tons of plastics polluting the oceans every year. Uh, we really hope to be able to do our bit, you know, to uh, use the recycled plastics in our products. We will want to want to reduce, recycle, and restore. And the way that we actually play our part in reducing consumption is that we build quality products so that the products are meant to last and therefore actually reduces, you know, consumptions. And the last one is restore, to be able to restore to the environment through either the impact investment that I talked about, whether it's ClearBoard, and also through uh, other projects that we contribute to, to um, restore the environment. You can become a ClearBot member by donating to the cleanup at a price that is comfortable for you. Or you can fund a full robot operation for $2,000 and have a ClearBot with your name and branding displayed all over the robot. CNET should sponsor one of these in the San Francisco Bay. I could see a little CNET robot going around. We'd definitely get some good press and I would have to definitely cover the news. Ring that bell and subscribe to CNET for more technology videos on YouTube and check out our related videos on Mr. Trash Wheel and the Ocean Cleanup Interceptors. Thanks for watching.